Hello and welcome to my video on different crochet hook sets that you can use for Tunisian crochet. These are all sets that I love and I use all the time for my Tunisian crochet projects. I have some regular crochet hook sets and some interchangeable crochet hook sets that I'm going to show you. I'm going to start by showing you the two interchangeable crochet hook sets that I have. The first one is the Denise interchangeable crochet hooks. You get all different size crochet hooks with four stoppers to put on the end of your cables. And there's all different length cables. And then two connector pieces if you want to connect two cables together. So all you do is grab whatever size crochet hook you need for your project and whatever length cable you need for your project. And you insert the cable into the bottom of the hook and twist to lock it in place. And now if you're working a really wide project with a lot of stitches, you want a stopper on the end of the cable so your stitches don't fall off. And you just insert that in and twist that also to lock it in place. So I'm going to give you a rule of thumb that I always go by to determine how long of a hook and cable I need for my project. So for example, Let's say I'm going to crochet a baby blanket that is 30 inches wide. And the rule of thumb I go by is to make sure from the top of my hook to the bottom of my cable or hook, if it's just a hook, is at least a third of the width of my project. So a third of the width, if I was making a 30 inch wide baby blanket, would be 10 inches. So as long as my hook and cable from top to bottom is 10 inches long, then I know I'm good to go. And then you just twist them to unlock it if you, when you're done with your project so you can put everything back in its place. The other interchangeable crochet hook set that I have is the Knitter's Pride Bamboo Hook Set. You have a lot of crochet hook size options. And then inside, we have all of different length cables. And in this bag, it does not come with this bag. I put all the pieces in a Ziploc so they don't get lost. You have stoppers, connectors, and pins. And I will show you what you do with those in a minute. So again, you pick whatever size crochet hook you need, whatever length cable you need for your project. And these ones screw on. So you just keep twisting until it's all the way on. And then we'll grab a stopper and then I'll show you what these pin, little pins are for. So you'll see a tiny little hole here and you can put your this little pin in there and that is just to help you tighten this good to make sure it's connected all the way so it doesn't come loose while you're working on a project and end up having it come apart and all your stitches fall off. And the stoppers also screw on. You just keep twisting until it's all the way on. So what I like to use these two sets for are big projects like blankets because they come with the long cables that you can of course fit more stitches onto. I am honestly not a fan of having a really long cable or a really long hook for Tunisian crochet. So I only use these if I have to, which is for typically for blankets. So now I'm going to show you some regular crochet hook sets that I have that I use for Tunisian crochet also. The first regular crochet hook set I'm going to show you is this one here. This is the brand. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try. But you get a bunch of different size hooks. 
Here's what they look like up close. These are really pretty. They are driftwood crochet hooks. And the reason these are great for Tunisian crochet is because they have an even circumference down the entire shaft of the hook. With Tunisian crochet, you can't use the crochet hooks that have a thumb rest and or ergonomic handle because you need to keep your tension of your stitches that you're adding onto your hook even. So that is why this one is great for Tunisian crochet. But of course, you can only fit so many stitches since it's a regular length crochet hook. But um, I'm gonna show you a little tip you can do with your hook. And some of my patterns um, are worked in panels. So you only have no more than the amount of stitches that you can fit on um, at a time. So I'm going to show you a little tip I do if I have a lot of stitches on a regular length crochet hook. I got two different things, a rubber band and a knitting needle point protector. You just, whoops, you can either pop this right on the end of your hook, but it can, this will only work if it fits on your hook. So depending on how big the hook is. Otherwise, you got a rubber band or an elastic. You just tie on the end of your hook so your stitches don't fall off. I have two more regular crochet hook sets that I'm going to show you that also have an even circumference down the shaft. So they also work great for Tunisian crochet. This is one that I use a lot. Um, the brand is Premier. And they look like this. And these are made out of wood also. And these are very similar to the next hooks that I'm going to show you. These are the Knitter's Pride Dreams hook. And these almost um, are identical to these. Um, so I use these two hook sets the most out of all the hook sets that I have. Um, unless I'm making a blanket, of course, then I need my hook set with the cables. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this helped you if you are looking for some good hooks to use for Tunisian crochet. Thanks for watching.